Hello guys, in this video I am going to focus on how to use Azure OpenAI in Bot Composer application. Here our main idea, so first we will understand overview of Azure OpenAI, second one what are the modules available in the Azure OpenAI concept, third one is we focus on the particular model GPT-3, this is a famous model now, chat GPT-3, that concept, fourth one is to access this module you need the access rights. In the Azure portal so for that you have to apply the license so how to apply the license everything we'll see in this fourth module finally we'll see how to implement this GPT-3 chat GPT in bot application let's start open AI is an AI research laboratory this company main focus on related to AI topic including machine learning robotics and natural language processing. There are different varieties of uh, AI related topic they are covering in OpenAI. In Azure, partnership with this company to make organization easily to develop, train and deploy AI models inside Azure portal. That's the main focus. In OpenAI, mainly three modules available, one for GPT-3, second for Codex, third one for Dell E. GPT-3 we'll talk about a little bit later. First, we'll focus on what is Codex and what is DALI. Codex, the main purpose, it translates natural language to code. For example, if you used Git, GitHub Codepilot, write the function, label, let's say add two numbers, then it automatically suggested some coding standard to implement this feature. If you use tab, then automatically the code has been inserted. This is the example for the Codex. Based on your command or based on your request, it will create or edit some images Let's example Microsoft Designer, it's based on that LE only. So as I said earlier, our focus is completely GPT-3. So we'll focus on this topic, GPT-3. First, we'll understand what is GPT-3. GPT-3 is a generative pre-trained transformer. It's one of the advanced language model developed by OpenAI. The main purpose of GPT-3 to handle NLP related tasks such as text generation, question answering, and language translation completely handled by this GPT-3. In Azure GPT-3, you can access via GPT-3 in Azure portal to easily integrate it into an application, such as bot or mobile application or desktop application, you can implement this feature. So how to access this Azure GPT-3? First, you have to apply the license to access Azure OpenAI in Azure portal. Once you fill the form, it will take some couple of days or maximum 10 days. You can get the access rights based on your scenario. So once you license get approved, you have to go to Azure Cognitive Service. Under that, you have to select the OpenAI to create the resource. Once the resource has been created, you can use Azure OpenAI Studio. You can try the samples. Once all is fine, you can easily implement this feature into your application. How to apply the license? Once you go to this Azure Microsoft.com Azure OpenAI Service, there you can see there is a button called apply now once you click this apply button this page get open you have to fill properly this application otherwise your application get rejected yeah and you have to apply the first thing is these are the main area your name and the last name and how many subscription id do you need to access this feature you have to select and you have to provide your azure subscription id it's not email id address it's a subscription id to go to this link you can find your subscription id you can fill it here and company name and company related information here and if you are under mep or microsoft employee or msv category you can choose this option and others you can use this option and again company related information and main one is this one 21 you have to clearly explain why you need this Azure OpenAI service into your application, what scenario you want to use. That you have to fill it here, this one, 21. At least five sentences you have to provide the information in this box. And this 22, at the moment Azure subscription available in three regions, but here they specify only two, South, Central and West Europe. I will show in Azure portal, there is a three, I think, three region is available and your target users and other information. The main, the next main is 26. Here you have to fill the information, okay? In which scenario or which application you are going to use your Azure OpenAI, like conversational AI or such, or code-based. We see no three modules. 
one for GPT-3 and Codex and other one for Dell E. So you have to select which model you, do you want to access this one. So other information, what type of review you are currently applying for and everything. If you select this one, for example, if you select uh, conversational AI, there is another option you have to select. Okay, which specific capability you are applying this one. So you have to carefully select like search also. If you select search, then based on your selection, automatically the next question will be added here. After fill the required information, you have to submit. It will take some days to get the approval. Let us assume you get the approval for access this open AI service. After that, you have to go to your Azure portal, Cognitive Service. Here you can see Azure Open AI. The Azure Open AI, you have to create the resource, like how you are creating the resource for other service, let's say language service or QA maker. The same you have to create it here. So use the create button. Your subscription you have to select and resource group and region. So as I said, three region is available, one for East US, South Central US, and Europe. And name of your resource, pricing tire. You have to choose standard only. So once you selected and create that. Here I have created one resource called delete demo. It's like normal other Azure Cognitive Service only. You can find the key and endpoint information, model deployment information, other, other cost analysis, everything available here. Next, go to Azure Open AI Studio. Here we can try our samples. Once our samples is fine, we can implement this feature into our application. For that, first you have to create the new deployment option. So click this button, create new deployment and create new deployment. Model name you have to select. So there are different varieties of models available. Like this is a text-based natural language conversion and search based and other information. I go with this one text-based text Darwin C003. My deployment name demo like open AI pod demo. Create. Deployment successfully created. Next, open in playground. So our deployment and examples also provided here. The right side you can see the open AI related parameters like temperature and max lens. This we talk about later. Just we go and see how this output is generated. Now I want to know what is Azure Open AI. Azure Open AI. This is generate button. So this time it's communicate to Azure Open AI service and generate the answer for this one. So some information. If you go to this V code, here you can have the option how to implement in your language like for example if you are a python developer this is a sample code like that json format and you want to communicate to http you can use this option and this is a http related communication information so the next step i'm going to create one bot application from there i'm going to connect this service to get the results in bot framework i have created a new project called azure open ai gpt3 from this bot, we're going to communicate to the Azure Open AI. For that, I'm going to select the unknown intent. For this scenario, let's assume your bot handling the flight and the weather information. Other than that, user send information to your bot. So we cannot handle that even. It's default go to the unknown intent. Unknown intent, we provide the proper information to the user to guide proper way. So this is a normal scenario. Here, this unknown intent, I'm going to communicate to the Azure Open AI portal. Based on the user query, I get some results and display here. We can send information also. Here, this is the information I'm thinking you are looking for like this, but I'm not able to handle this information like that. We can provide that. So this is a scenario. First, I'm going to connect to Azure portal for that. Uh, the, sorry, I don't did not get this intent. I, know, I don't want. I disable this one. So I'm going to add a new one add access external resource send an http request so here we have to pass a url and method is post we have to select it 
go to here and just copy the URL name. This is a connection URL. So this URL I passed here. And the header. First header is a content type. So I select this one. It's JSON. So application slash JSON. Next header key we have to add it. App key. So this app key we can find in our Azure portal. So if you go to your resource key, key and endpoint. Here you can find the key. So I copy the key. API key. Next, I pass my key. The result we store in return dot results only. The next, we have to print this information. Add results here. Like this. So we can copy the turn dot results. We just print this information. Go back to this send an HTTP request. Here we have to pass the other information, prompt information. So here you can see this is our prompt information. The prompt for our scenario user information. So we have to pass the user query as a prompt. So other information we have to fill it. So I can go to here, composer, create, manage property, set a property. So I'm going to create a new property. This property called user dot prompt. So user dot prompt. Next, go to again here. We have to copy complete information. Go to composer, change this one to object and paste all the information. So I just remove the default prompt information. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to pass turn dot activity dot text. Close this one and slash n slash n just one end also fine slash n and tl semicolon dr like that i provide so this user dot prompt i'm going to pass into the http request body statement here that's it now we'll start the bot Open with chat. Here, welcome to your bot default message. Next message I'm going to send what is an Azure Open Open AI. Permission denied. The problem here, here is uh, somewhat the API get deleted. That's the reason the permission denied exception is came. So I'm going to add a key again. API key. And my adder here. Restart the bot again. Open web chat. Restart the conversation. What is an open AI? Here you see, we get the results about our request. So the header information, content information. Our main output, this one, choice. Here you can see text and the open is some information available. So I copy this information, just paste into the notepad. We can see the complete information.
copy notepad just paste it so here our output open a related information 